Yo, what's up guys, welcome back again to another Clash Royale video and what I have for you today is something pretty epic. So, as you can see at the top of the screen, I do have over 100,000 gold. I've been collecting this gold for so long, I didn't buy any gold from the shop. I wanted to collect exactly 100,000 and to be able to spend it all on my cards. Because as you can see over here, I have 40 cards to upgrade and not only one level some cards can be even upgraded to like this uh, spear goblins can be upgraded to like level 9 i think it's ridiculous figure out how many freaking chests i've opened i have a shitload of cards but i do not upgrade them because i don't actually use them like look at this i have um the bowler I have six bowlers i can get him up to level three why would i do that i have six expos again Cards that I do not use. 12 guards, like it's ridiculous. 9 goblin barrel. Okay, I use the goblin barrel occasionally, but I don't want to spend uh, gold on it. And generally, I do have a shit load of cards to upgrade. Now, I'm not going to spend every single bit of that gold because I want to reach Legendary Arena and buy uh, one or maybe even two Legendary cards. But for now, I will just keep around 40 or 50,000 gold. And by the way, in this video, I will be hitting level 10. So let's start upgrading stuff. All right, so first of all, uh, this is my main deck. I have not made a video a strategy guide on this. I will soon. But let's go ahead and upgrade the giant. As you can see, 120 out of 100. 4,000 gold down the drain. There we go. 200 XP. Boom, there we go. Level 7 giant. And the one thing I'm hyped, basically the three things, the three things that I'm hyped is... Musketeer, Valkyrie and Fireball level 7 because level 7 cards are actually way better than level 6 ones. The level 7 Fireball can one shot a level 6 Musketeer whereas a level 6 Fireball can one shot a level 5 Musketeer. It's a quite big difference. So let's continue on with the Musketeer 4000 gold again. Holy shit. Let's go. Another 200 XP gained. Come on. Perfect, so we're only 900 XP away from hitting level 10. Okay, so let's speed up this process. Again, 4000 gold on the Valkyrie, got here to level 7 as well. And again, 4000 gold on the Fireball, boom, there we go, level 7 Fireball. Oh shit, this is gonna make my deck so more powerful than it was. So I'm currently at 84,000 gold, I've only spent 16,000 so far, and I'm debating whether I should upgrade the Arrows or the Minion Horde to level 11. Both cost 20 freaking thousand gold, but I think I'll go for the Minion Horde because I do, I do use uh, both of them in every single deck, but I do love the Minion Horde, so... I'll go ahead, 20,000 gold, this is gonna get me to level 10, yes, I only need 500 XP more, so this is gonna give me 600, let's go, level 10 hype, alright, so, boom, there we go, minion horde level 11, I think the max level is 13 or 14, I don't remember exactly, but, let's go, give me that level up, alright, 10,000 XP collected, there we go, Level up, level 10, let's screenshot that, boom, there we go, and we are on our way to level 11, I need 30 freaking thousand XP, holy shit, that is gonna take a while to collect. So, I have 64,000 gold, and at this part of the video I'm gonna do something secret, alright, let's upgrade this bad boy, okay, roll giant, come on, be quick, alright, so you didn't see that, you did not see that coming, I did not upgrade the royal giant right i did not upgrade him so this deck right here is entirely leveled up like five out of eight cards are leveled up i cannot upgrade neither the prince nor the skeleton army i can upgrade the arrows but i don't feel like spending even more gold like 20 more thousand gold no thank you so since this deck is super super good now with the upgrades let's go ahead and do some live battles all right so here we are against tani 2 okay he's a level 8 come on give me a level 9 like this deck is so good with now with the upgrades and i'm level 10 right now holy shit i forgot about that i am two levels higher than this guy <laughs> oh boy and actually, uh, I did not um, see how much extra health my towers got. About 300, I think. I'm not sure. I did not actually pay attention when I was leveling up. So, uh, let's see. He does have an Ice Wizard. Okay. Uh, and that giant, I really can't see a health improvement. Like, 
before the upgrade that giant would have been dead already and he does have a minor as well like a level 8 with two legendary cards holy shit i'm a level 10 now and i only have one come on supercell okay it's retarded you give this idiot two legendary cards and he may even have more like you never know he may have even five uh, out of eight legendaries or even eight out of eight legendaries but not, but not using them in a deck but um, again, he's gonna drop the Ice Wizard among with that Goblin Barrel. I'm gonna throw the Valkyrie over there to take care of that Goblin Barrel because he is pretty aggressive, I gotta say. He's two levels below me and he's being aggressive. Um, that's not gonna end well, my friend. Don't mess with me, okay? <laughs> um, if I lose to this guy, uh, I probably won't put this in the video, <laughs> to be honest, because I'm two levels higher, I cannot lose from this guy, for fuck's sake. So, that Valkyrie is doing some work on his tower, I think it's gonna be enough to get it? Yes, boom, there we go, that Valkyrie, again, used to be super good at level 6, now at level 7, she's godly, literally, and I think uh, rare cards can be upgraded to level... 10? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the tournament standard is 7, so now my cards are tournament standard. The minions that I upgraded to level 11, unfortunately, are not tournament standard. Uh, you can only use minions up to level 10 in tournaments, but it's all good. Um, uh, I did it for uh, matchmaking, for, uh, you know, multiplayer, like this battle. But uh, it's all good. <laughs> like, look at his minion horde. Level 8, I completely crushed this guy. I feel bad, because he was a level 8. Shit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one li un one more life battle, because this guy was pretty unlucky to get matched with me. So, let's go ahead. Okay, so here we are against the level 9. Again, I do have an advantage. Uh, so, let's see what is he gonna do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna deploy the giant over there. And what is she gonna do? Come on. Come on, Act 1. Okay. Uh, he did drop some minions. Okay. He's not being that aggressive. Um, I'll throw the Musketeer down. Like, this deck is way better than it used to be because I upgraded 5 out of 8 cards. That's a huge difference. Not only 1 or 2 cards. It's 5 cards, 1 level higher. Um, so... That Inferno Tower is gonna go down, unfortunately, uh, that Musketeer won't be enough to hit his tower, but let's do a mini push with the Prince and the Minion Horde, uh, so, come on, alright, so he did drop a cannon, boom, it's down, and he threw a Freeze Spell, okay, if you use a Freeze Spell on defense, you are retarded for fuck's sake, like, use a defense, use a Freeze Spell, sorry, when you're attacking, okay, not to defend, that's a pity move to do, alright, do not do that. Kids, okay. Uh, lessons from Hari 101. So, um, giant down again. Because this guy is just defending, he's not pushing me at all. And come on. So, uh, he's gonna throw a goblin barrel just alone. Why do you do that? Like, it's stupid to throw a goblin barrel alone. It won't do anything. Like, it's not the smartest move, but he wanted to do it, so. Not my business, I'm gonna wreck him. So, uh, again, that Inferno Tower is gonna go down. He threw those minions, that Valkyrie won't be enough to get to his tower, unfortunately. And again, I'll throw that combo with uh, the Prince and the Minion Horde for sure. He's gonna freeze again. And... Alright, so I think I'm gonna go with the Giant as well. There we go. Yep. And... Perfect, so that mini P.E.K.K.A is down, he's gonna fireball my minions, he's gonna miss two of them. Um, so his tower is so close to going down, I'm gonna fireball that, come on. Do not kill my giant, there we go, perfect, that giant will be more than enough to actually uh, get his tower. And what I love about giants is that now that I leveled him up, not only his health is higher, but his damage is even higher, and the giant used to do about 100 and. 60 damage I think so that's a lot of damage for just a giant like literally So uh, he is gonna get uh, destroyed I think Not three ground because he's not letting me I do not have time I think or I do Yeah, that's gonna be a three ground for sure. There we go. Well played. I crashed him. Okay. I'm a level 10 
Not my problem that the matchmaking gave me a level 8 and then level 9. I wanted to level 10, but oh well. So that's gonna be for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I've never done a video like this one, like spending gold. So thank you very much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure to drop a like down below in the comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And see ya in the next one.